This is Amy Massey with Oak Grove Upper Elementary's Gifted Department. The Gifted program here currently consists of four teachers who provide advanced differentiated learning curriculum for those who qualify. Please see page 35 of the Lamar County District Handbook regarding the referral policy for entrance into the program. I would like to point out that parents may inquire for testing of their child at any time during the school year. The purpose of today's video will provide parents with valuable information for better understanding the skill growth of gifted learners. First, as you can see on the screen, the Mississippi State Department of Education mandates the curriculum outcomes for intellectually gifted education programs in this state for grades two through six. These were updated in 2017, and these can easily be viewed by parents to review how activities in the classroom are directly connected with thinking skills, creativity, informational literacy, success skills, affective skills, and communication skills. The overarching goal for learning in the Excel program is metacognition, which is asking students to think about their own thinking as a process. Now, while we have this screen available, if you'll notice up here at the top, there is a search bar. If you enter in the words gifted, gifted program, or gifted outcomes, it's going to take you to the gifted programs page. Underneath gifted programs, you're going to see a subheading that says tools and supports. If you scroll down, you'll see the outcomes for intellectually gifted education programs of 2017. I'm going to click. Once you do this, you're going to see that a 48-page booklet appears on the screen. This says Outcomes for Intellectually Gifted Education Programs. Now, this is going to show you grade by grade everything that should be taught to our gifted learners across the state of Mississippi. Now, for the sake of time today, we're going to take a look at fourth grade. And I'm going to scroll down. So we're looking at fourth grade inside the booklet. <clears throat> you can see thinking skills, the creativity skills. Informational literacy, success, our social and emotional, or what we call affected, and communication skills. Now, this is a great reference material because this gives you an opportunity to connect what you might see on a student's report card after a unit of study in Gifted, or if a, um, at the end of the year when we do a skills checklist. This gives you an opportunity to better understand what the students have participated and completed throughout the school year and to make um, questions or any kind of inquiries that you might have of the Gifted teacher. A second resource that I would like to share today is a second website. It's the Mississippi Association for, Association for Gifted Children. As you see on the screen, MAGC, as we commonly call it, is a nonprofit organization that was founded in 1974. It advocates for the best teaching practices for the intellectually gifted. MAGC hosts an annual conference each year offering valuable presentations, resources, and materials that are beneficial not only to teachers, but also to parents. There is a small membership fee of $25 to join, but it does link you to the National Association of Gifted Children organization. While we're here on this screen, I'm going to move the cursor. If you notice in the center, you'll see where there are scholarships, grants, and awards that are specifically for gifted children across the state of Mississippi. Um, in the spring of the year, you will see a lot of updates from the MAGC, which let us know about summer learning institutes for gifted learners. Specifically here in South Mississippi, we have one at the University of Southern Miss. There are also some that are offered through William Carey University. Last, let's look at one more resource. We can't stress enough the importance of taking the time to hold meaningful conversations with your child. One resource for helping families better understand how each member processes information and behaves in a group is by taking a personality test. At the end of the fourth grade year and the beginning of the fifth grade year, our Excel classes encourage students to take ownership of their unique personality style using a free online Briars-Briggs test. This helps students better outline their strengths and weaknesses as well as how they work in collaborative groups. On this screen, you will see an example of an online inventory that is free. Now, this test will take you about 12 minutes. We encourage parents to take this test. It's an important to discuss and highlight your child's strengths and encourage your student to overcome problem-solving challenges with an understanding that all people can think differently while working together to achieve a goal. 
and we hope that you will do so. If you have any additional questions regarding the Excel program or this video, please feel free to contact us here at Oak Grove Upper Elementary. Thank you.